besides you. I want money. Shh. She'll be back. Best now. Keep an eye on her. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zella's mother. They failed to report back. Hikaru told me how you challenged Regala. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him. Gave him new purpose. He became our first chief. Ruler of all Tanakh and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but... Hikaru needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor, as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to 20 years have passed since. This blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear, all except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away, weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. This way. For months, I watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. The see those hopes dash. Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. We follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully, the squad. I'll follow your lead. Machine has taken down recently. Oh. 
Those machines couldn't have been brought down easily. There's blood. Sounds like fighting. The squad could be in trouble. Tanakh soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines down! Should save them. Make something else. Oh, no, no, no. Commander, and the Chief's champion. Your help came just in time. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala, even defeated her influence remains. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then, we found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. Up this way. It looks like we'll have to climb up the falls. Right through the blood choke. Let's do it. <sighs> this water smells like rot. Try living with it. Damn filth. All over my hands. Just don't let go. Don't have to tell me twice. Hey, what the? 
I'm okay. Hear that? That sounds like a machine. Camp. So many machines. Butchered. There's fresh water coming from those falls. That dam must be blocking it. We'll have to take out the rebels first before we can deal with it. Two against many. Look All alive, for the soldiers. lowland. Keep an eye out for machines or lowland. better. Last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out.
Going down. I think I found something, Aloy. That's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. Rebels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. Maybe we missed something near the device. Come back, Aloy! It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. When I hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove, in the arena. To put down machines. I don't think I can follow you there. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? I think maybe. Spineless cowards poisoning us until we waste away? The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from the machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. I just need to find a way to expose it. It's not making it. I'll wait here. I might be able to pull part of the dam open. Expose the sack. There's the sack. Take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do this at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. All yours, Ateka! Hold on, I'm almost in position. Works. Hold it. <laughs> nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. Deca? 
It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thornmarsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. Here I come! I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zilla? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, little warrior. I promised you a reward, equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the Ten. swim down anymore. giant statue that Stemmer mentioned. The ruins should be nearby. Thank you. 
The gizmo Stem was after should be inside. I've got the spikes now, and I need it from the old ones. Looks like part of the city inside the dome. City things overhang. Maybe I should try to line up the image here. Calling. Definitely. There it is. This looks like the place, and that must be the statue. Okay, I gotta find a way up there. A vent.
Here's this will be useful. Statue. Get the burner. Ah. Huh. Whoa! Well, I got the burner. Better take it back to Moreland. that attacked Moreland. Place. Now, where's that gizmo? There. That must be the gizmo. Looks like this door needs a code to open. I should check around the ruin, see if I can find anything that might help. What's 
in here. Oh, so the gizmo is actually called an ornament. one of these in another room. It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of a code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. The hatch might lead to another part of the ruin. But how to get to it? This out. The crate on top's blocked. There's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in. I can find a way to get up there. Maybe there's a way to pull the top crate off. There. Should be able to reach the opening now. Made it. Create some distance first. See where this leads. Oh, I'm back outside. What else is up here? He was trying to pull that. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the Knights of Lights Holiday Promotion? A way to celebrate old world holidays by changing the holograms above ground? I should have what I need to open the door.
back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. if we buried them in the sand? Boom traps. But then we might blow up everyone, not just the machines. Hmm. What are you two working on? Red! We're making boom plans. Ah, oh, we struck a deal with Abaddon when we got back. Turns out this place is gonna need some security for all those machines out there. And when he heard how Boomer's invention helped you take down the vanishing dread, we convinced him we were right for the job. Now we just gotta figure out how we're gonna keep the machines away without blowing everyone sky high. Not everyone. The flying ones are already in the sky. Sounds like you both have a lot of work ahead of you. And a place to call home. Home of the Boomworks. Yeah, we're gonna have to work on that name. she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. I think there are more scattered in ruins beyond the desert. I might be able to track them down. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. For what purpose were these trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Light's Holiday Promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event? And so does every feast in the claim. There's the Feast of the First Keg, the Feast of Fermentation, the All Hops Feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. 
I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Mm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Ah, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. But they couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. I wonder what other holidays the old ones celebrated. Took the rebel out. This is easy. Remedies and brew. Good riddance. You're back! Did you get it? Do you have the device? Oh, please say you do. Oh, we're so close to something truly majestic. Here you go, Moreland. Yes! Yes! Thank you. I hope getting it wasn't too much trouble. Oh. This design, it's so compact. Oh, the ancients knew how to make them. It should fit the housing like a dream. Just need to cinch up the blaze leads and away we go. Uh, we? Make the maiden flight without the maiden who played such a vital part? My mother raised me better than that. You should have the honor of seeing the world in a way that no one alive has ever seen it. How about it? How can I say no to that? What was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. We have a sturdy tether connecting us to the ground. Pure Osirum craftsmanship. Well, I can give it a little flame. Aha! We ascend! Behold, the world beneath our feet. Ah, the sky at our fingertips. The burner heats the air inside, which gets lighter than what surrounds it. So we rise. Indeed. We're powered by hot air. Just like Stemmer. <laughs> but don't tell him I said that. We are on the cusp of history. The first successful Osirum flight. There have been other attempts? Oh, yeah! The history of Osirum flights is fascinating. And, you know, violent and frequently incendiary. I feel like you should have mentioned this before. Ah, the others failed because their machines were too heavy and complex. They were begging to crash. Not here. Just a pilot compartment, blaze, a burner, the orb, and a tether. Within simplicity, there is perfection. Well, at least, you know, less chance of exploding. <laughs> you know, if Abaddon were here, he'd be drunk like a wastrel crippling fear of heights. That said, he gets poetic when drunk. He has evocative rhymes about all his various ledgers. A little known fact, Osram poetry started as work songs and forges around the claim. <laughs> Just a bit of turbulence. We shall tame these wild skies yet. <sighs> this feels like more than turbulence. Uh, for the record, that was not part of the planned aerial experience. What was that? Uh, yeah, I think our tether just came undone. Moreland! Oh! <laughs> That's just a small setback. Nothing to worry! I'm out! I can fix this! I can fix it! I can... 
Crazy bastards!